I want to go over a feature of Code Rush that I uh, use from time to time that comes in really helpful, and that is the ability to um, easily extract interfaces from classes and also to create classes that implement an interface. So, in this case, I'm going to I have this interface, I helpful interface, and you can see it has a function here, extremely helpful function. And I want to go ahead and create a class that implements the interface. So I can bring up the Code Rush Refactor menu. And by default, I believe it's control back quote to bring up the refactor menu. I've actually bound it to control R, a little easier on the fingers there on the keystrokes. So here I'm going to go ahead and create an implicit uh, implementation of the interface. You can see uh, I've got a class now that implements the interface. Um, by default, you can see that it's um, already set up to rename it. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call it helpful class. And the other nice thing is I can go ahead and uh, if I bring up the refactor menu again, I can move the type to a file and you can see it's moved helpful class, it's moved it into its own file and so very quickly, very easily you can uh, you know, create a class that implements with a skeleton, implements an interface and move it to a separate file. Um, the other way um, extracting an interface works basically the same way, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this uh, iHelpful interface. And so let's say I want to extract an interface. So again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the refactor menu, hit Extract Interface, and there I have my uh, interface ready to rename. And I'm going to call it iHelpful Interface. And once again, I can go ahead and bring up the refactor menu, and I can move the type to a file. And there you can see now I have a file that uh, holds the iHelpful interface. Um, this comes in real handy, especially when you're refactoring old code and you want to unit test it and you need to create interfaces to uh, test implementations of uh, code. So I want to go ahead and show how the binding is set up. Um, so you go into Dev Express menu, go into Options, and you'll see that I'm actually on the default one, which is Control Back Quote, it does refactor. Um, I've bound it to Control R. Um, just a little easier keystroke for me, and I use the refactor menu. You know, do the refactor all the time, so it's just a little quicker with Control R. Um, little trick I'll actually show here is I'm going to go ahead and delete this shortcut. And there's two ways to do this. One is I can go to the existing one, and I can go ahead and say duplicate shortcut. And so now I have a duplicate. I can go ahead and drag that up because I I want it in uh, my folder. Now I can go go ahead back up in here on the key and I can just type control R once again and now you have a uh, duplicate of the other shortcut with the same uh, context and everything and that's one way to do it. Um, another actually way to do this, a little trick, and this can come in handy in other situations. I'm going to go ahead and delete it again. So I'm going to go ahead and in this folder I'm going to create a new shortcut. I'll assign it to control R and I'll select the command and I'll select refactor. And you'll notice though, you know, in this case when I created it from scratch, I don't have the context. Well, what you can actually do is you can right click on an existing shortcut and say copy context. Then you can go ahead and paste that context into another shortcut. And that way you don't have to go through and fiddle with all the different, uh, you know, context settings. You can actually copy the context from another shortcut and paste it into your shortcut. So uh, hopefully this helps out. Um, take care.